The facility will be located here at Payne Field and makes Nahomish County a world leader in bringing air travel to net zero emissions. We support over 150,000 jobs and generate nearly $60 billion for the economy each year. There it goes. <laughs> Along with jobs and revenue, aviation also brings about 2.5% of global greenhouse gases. The aviation industry has pledged to bring air travel to net zero emissions by 2050. That means changing the fuels airplanes burn. Right now, they run on petroleum-based fuels that pump more carbon into the environment, worsening climate change. But researchers at WSU are developing sustainable aviation fuels, or SAFs, made from everything from tree debris to plants and foods. With these fuels, you're, you're recycling carbon that's already been emitted in the atmosphere. This is your conventional jet fuel. This is your uh, liquid dinosaur right here. SAFs also burn much cleaner, a demonstration by a WSU researchers today. That's standard jet fuel on the left and SAF on the right. It's bad for human health, but it's also bad for the environment. The proposed Payne Field facility would be a repository for SAF samples from around the world, allowing researchers to store and share them. Production methods would be refined and large scale testing would be performed to ensure safety. While the cost is two to four times that of standard jet fuel, sustainability experts say SAFs developed in Snohomish County are our best hope to keep airline emissions from flying any higher. We have to find a way th with these fuels. Uh, the, this is the approach. The state Senate is proposing six and a half million dollars in startup funding for the project. If all goes as planned, it could be operational in three to five years. At Payne Field, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.